Robin Newhouse. Without further ado, let's see our best ingredients in the working group, starting off with the Alaskan Malamutes. Followed by the Bernese Mountain Dog. The Boxer. The Bull Mastiff. The Doberman. The Dog de Bordeaux. The Giant Schnauzer. The Great Dane. The Hubbard. The Leonberger. The Neapolitan Mastiff. The Portuguese Water Dog. The Rottweiler. The Russian Black Terrier. The Siberian Husky. The St. Bernard. And finally, the Tibetan Mastiff. Over the centuries, these dogs were selectively bred to become guards and search and rescue dogs. Arguably, the working group consists of some of the most heroic canines in the world, aiding humans in many walks of life, including the Boxer, Great Dane and St Bernard. This group consists of the real specialists in their field who excel in their line of work. And first up is the Alaskan Malamute. This is a dog number 3427. The breed was judged today by Liz Dunhill and there was an entry of 62. The largest and oldest of the Arctic sled dogs, the Alaskan Malamute possesses great strength and endurance. An American breed, the Alaskan Malamute was named after the Inuit tribe called Malamutes who settled in Alaska. They've always been used as sled dogs for heavy freighting in the Arctic. The breed is cousin to the other Arctic breeds, the Samoyed, the Siberian Husky, and the American Eskimo Dog. The Alaskan Malamute, number 3427. There was an entry of 71 Bernese Mountain Dog for Judge Jane Keyes. Jane found her best of breed winner in this bitch, number 3525. The Bernese carries a traditional Swiss colouring of black and tan with white markings. Bernese Mountain Dogs, or Berner Sennenhund, originated in Switzerland and are named for the canton of Bern. This is the best of breed, Bernese Mountain Dog 3525. Luis Pinto Tessera judged boxers, and from an entry of 156, he awarded best of breed to this dog, number 3586. The well-conditioned middleweight athlete of dogdom, the boxer is a powerful dog with an intelligent and alert expression. Developed in Germany in the 19th century, boxers were originally used for dog fighting and to run down and hold large games such as wild boar and bison until a hunter could arrive. 
It is thought his name may have came from a corruption of the German word Beiser, the boxer being a refined version of the Bullenbeiser, meaning bull biter. The best of breed boxer, 3586. Bull Mastiffs were judged by Francis Crown. Francis found her best of breed winner in this dog, number 3712. There was an entry of 42. The Bull Mastiff's known history in England begins around 1860, when they were developed to keep large estates and game preserves free of poachers. Gamekeepers needed a dog that could track quietly, cover short distances quickly, and pin and hold poachers without mauling them. The foundation breeding was 60% Mastiff and 40% Bulldog. Breeders were hoping to create a dog faster and more aggressive than the Mastiff, yet bigger than and not as ferocious as the Bulldog. The best of breed Bull Mastiff, 3712. Next we have the Doberman. This is the bitch, number 3798, who won best of breed today under Gary Daniel. There was an entry of 88. Although the roots of the breed are relatively obscure, it is thought that the Doberman Pinscher originated in Germany in the 19th century, taking its name from tax collector Louis Doberman, who desired a medium-sized dog to perform as a guard dog as well as a companion. Breeds utilised to develop the Doberman may have included the Rottweiler, Black and Tan Terrier and the German Pinscher to combine a mix of brain, soundness, toughness of character and quick terrier-like reaction. This is the best of breed winning Doberman, 3798. <laughs> Nikki Sharp judged an entry of 42 Dog de Bordeaux today and she awarded best of breed to this dog, number 3840. The Dog de Bordeaux's history is a mystery. Different theories link him to the Bull Mastiff, Bulldog, Tibetan Mastiff, and the ancient Dog de Bordeaux Aquitaine. In any case, the Dog de Bordeaux has been used as a guardian, hunter, and fighter. They were trained to bait bulls, bears, and jaguars, hunt boars, herd cattle, and protect the homes and businesses of their masters. The Dog de Bordeaux, number 3840. There was an entry of 10 giant schnauzers for Gavin Robertson today. Gavin awarded best of breed to this dog, number 3862. The giant Schnauzer developed in Württemberg and Bavaria sections of Germany, which were both agricultural areas where dogs were in high demand as farm help. 
He aided the shepherd in driving livestock to market and was used as a guard dog and mascot by the butchers and breweries. During World War I, the breed was recognised in Germany for its intelligence and trainability, becoming one of the breeds used for police training. This is the Giant Schnauzer 3862. Great Danes were judged today by Janet Gunn. There was an entry of 44 from which Janet found her winner in this dog, number 3895. Historians claim that there are drawings of dogs that resemble the Great Dane on Egyptian monuments from roughly 3000 BC. A gentle giant, the Great Dane is nothing short of majestic and is sometimes referred to as Dogdom's Apollo. Despite his name, the breed is actually the national dog of Germany, where known as the Deutsche Doggen, the breed was developed for hunting wild boar. The breed was introduced to Britain in 1877. This is the Great Dane, 3895. Yeah. Jeff Luscott ran the rule over Hall of Arts today, and Jeff's best of breed from an entry of 15 was this bitch, number 3921. The Hovavart is a breed of considerable antiquity. Records of dogs of this type date as far back as the 1200s and the breed has been known for many centuries as a guard dog, mainly of the farmyard. After a blank period in its history, it re-emerged in the early 1900s thanks to the efforts of Kurt Koenig. The best of breed, Hall of Art, 3921. <laughs> Next we have the Leonberger. The breed was judged today by Jeff Horswell. Best of breed, was this bitch, number 3945, from an entry of 36. The Leonberger was created in 1800 by the then mayor of Leonberg, Heinrich Essig, to honour his town. Their original purpose was to be a family, farm and draft dog. The breed caught the attention of popular German artists who used them as models, and they've even been featured on the stamps of various European countries. Leonbergers almost became extinct after World War I, but was revived by dedicated enthusiasts. This is the Leonberger 3945. Could we have all best of breed winners in the pastoral group mm -hmm. to make your way to the collecting ring, please? That's all best of breed winners in the pastoral group to the collecting ring, please. There was an entry of five Neapolitan Mastiff for Nicky Sharp today. 
and Nikki found her best of breed winner in this bitch, number 3970. An ancient breed, the Neapolitan Mastiff's lineage, can be traced back to ancient Egypt, Persia, Mesopotamia and Asia, to the dogs of war used by the Roman army. The breed later existed on estates and farms in northern Italy, designed to be imposing in appearance for use as a defender of owner and property. The breed so impressed the painter Piero Scazziani that he started his own kennel and he considered the modern father of the breed. in the Working Breeders Group, please make your way to Ring 5 at the conclusion of the Working Group, judging please. Oh, sorry. Portuguese Water Dogs were judged by Luiz Pinto Tezera. From an entry of 33, Luiz selected this bitch, number 3982, as best of breed. Referred to as the Chao de Agua, or Dog of Water, in its native Portugal, the Portuguese water dog was bred to accompany fishermen on their boats. Although he shares a common background with other European water dogs, it is believed he came to Portugal with the Moors from North Africa. An exceptional swimmer and diver, the breed retrieved broken nets, dove for fish, carried messages between boats and to shore, and guarded the boat for his master in foreign ports. That's your best of breed, Portuguese water dog, 3982. The rock violet is next to be assessed, and this is the bitch number 4043. Mrs. M. Thompson was today's judge, and there was an entry of 111. The Rottweiler's ancestors were the drover's dogs, accompanying the herds the Romans brought with them when invading Europe. The controllable herding and guarding instincts were recognised by the Germans, and dogs were selectively bred for these traits. They were especially known around the town of Rottweil, for which 1,800 years was a centre for livestock trading. Rottweiler 4043. This is the Russian Black Terrier and was judged today by Brenda Banbury. There was an entry of 10 and Brenda found her best of breed in this dog, number 4124. The Russian Black Terrier's history is one of mystery and intrigue. Following World War II, the Soviets sought to reintroduce purebred dogs into the mainstream. The Red Star Kennel, the state-operated organisation chartered to provide working dogs for the armed services, actively developed a new breed, the Russian Black Terrier. Though the early Russian Black Terrier did not look the same as today's, Red Star was successful early on in producing a big, strong, unpretentious dog that demonstrated trainability and guarding qualities. Best of breed, Russian Black Terrier, 4124.
There was an entry of 87 Siberian Huskies for Judge Sharon Chargent. Sharon awarded best of breed to this bitch, number 4203. The Siberian Husky is widely believed to have originated from within the Chukchi tribe of the Eastern Siberian Peninsula. These dogs were used in 1908 for the All Alaskan Sweepstakes, which consisted of a 408 mile long dog sled race and served in the Army's Arctic Search and Rescue Unit during World War II. This is a further call for all best of breed winners in the pastoral group. Please make your way to the collecting ring. That's all best of breed winners in the pastoral group to the collecting ring, please. The Siberian Husky, 4203. Judge St. Bernard's today. He had an entry of 31, from which he selected this dog as his best of breed, number 4213. It is generally believed that the dogs eventually called St. Bernard's were bred from dogs previously existing in the Swiss countryside. The original St. Bernard was a short haired dog and was introduced to the hospice of St. Bernard, a refuge for travellers crossing the treacherous passes between Switzerland and Italy as a guard dog, a carting dog and an avalanche dog that rescued travellers trapped in the snow. Best of Reed St. Bernard, 4213. And completing our lineup, we have the Tibetan Mastiff. This is the bitch, number 4260. She was awarded Best of Breed today, also by Vaz Bosch from an entry of 21. The origins of the Tibetan Mastiff are somewhat murky, but earliest written accounts place a large dog around 1100 BC in China. The breed remained isolated in the Himalayan mountains where it developed into the Tibetan Mastiff we know today. Primarily a family and property guardian, the breed was traditionally kept confined during the day and let loose at night. They were left behind to guard the tents for families and the flocks were moved to higher pastures. The Tibetan Master 4260. Robin is giving careful consideration to all the best of readers in the working group before making his shortlist for those to be considered for the coveted four places. <coughs> Robin is making his shortlist, it's the Alaskan Malamute. The Boxer, the Bull Mastiff, 
the giant schnauzer, the Grey Dane, the Portuguese water dog, the Siberian husky, and the Tibetan mastiff. A big round of applause for our remaining best of breed winners, please. Thank you very much, and congratulations on your win today. Now, an opportunity to show up again. Please do show your appreciation for them. It's the Alaskan Malamute. Number 3427. Round it goes, the Alaska Malibu 3427. Now we have the boxer, 3586. Three, five, eight, six. The Bull Mastiff, three, seven, one, two. Best of Rebel Mastiff, 3712. The Giant Schnauzer, 3862. The Giant Schnauzer. The Great Day, number 3895. The Portuguese Water Dog, 3982. Siberian Husky, 4203. Making up the eight, it's the Tibetan Master, 
4260, the Tibetan Mastiff. And once again, as with all our groups, we're very grateful to our sponsors, Natural Instinct, who provided both cash and product prizes to our group placed winners. So thank you very much for your support to Richmond Dog Show Society. And Robin has called for the boards. And the working group winner at Richmond 2014, it's the Bull Mastiff number 3712. Group two, it's the boxer, three, five, eight, six. And in group three, the Alaskan Malamu, number three, four, two, seven. And completing the lineup, the Siberian Husky, number 4203. A big round of applause, please, for our remaining shortlisted breeds. Congratulations on your best of breed today. And if we can have a lap of honour from our winners, starting off with the Group 1 winning, the Bull Mastiff, followed by the Boxer, the Alaskan Malamute, and the Siberian Husky. This is a final call for all best of breed winners in the pastoral group. Please go to the collecting room now. It's a final call for all best of breed winners in the pastoral group. Please go to the collecting ring now.